Hello there, welcome to Umpercraft, and today we have a filter update video for you. We've improved two filters from last time you saw them, and we've also got a new filter for you, the relative filter. So enjoy the video, we're just going to look through each of the filters and what they do. First up, we have the triangulation filter. This filter looks for the players in a region that you specify with the MC edit box. And the update here is that we've simply added schematic support, so instead of doing offset coordinates, you run the filter, it'll give you a schematic, and then you can put that schematic down, and that will work all fine and dandy. After that, we have the test for block filter. That's received an update where if you add a square bracket to the end of the pre-coordinate um, command, then it will allow the whole command to work with parameters instead of normal coordinates. We'll get into more detail with that later. And finally, over here we have the testing ground for the relative filter, and we have two command blocks here, one with relative commands in and one with normal commands in, and we're going to swap them around as you'll see soon. Here we are in MC Edit, and I'm about to run the triangulation filter on this small block of clay right here. We're just going to go up and select the region where we want the player to be detected, and we're going to run the filter. I sped up the um, saving of it, but this dialog box comes up and you just save it in there, and it's very simple. you just got to go to import afterwards and then find the file that you just saved and import that, and there it is. Simple as that. Next up is the test for block range filter, and this is pretty much just as before, apart from we're going to change something in the output command. Uh, simply all you have to do is put a square bracket at the very end of the option called output command pre coords. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to make it so that when you place white wall down, it's going to give any player within a range of three blindness. So, as you can see, I've put effect at all and I've put square bracket. Now on the post coords thing, I have to add a digit for the range value. Uh, if you're using at P, you wouldn't have to do this because it would just be the nearest player to that point to which was specified. But for if you want range, then you can put that in. And that's pretty much all I need to do. I'm just putting the effect stuff in for blindness. And that's about it. So you can run that filter and do exactly the same thing as you did with the triangulation filter with all the imports and stuff. And that's about it really. Finally we have the relative filter and this is simply going to change any coordinates in a command block from normal to relative or from relative to normal. So this is very useful for examples like in the set block command. Here we're doing it with relative to normal first, and then normal to relative on the second one. Now both of these command blocks just spawn things above them, so I know I didn't show that off earlier, but oh well. But that's all. So we're back in the world, uh, and I've attached a timer to this test wall block filter um, schematic. But this um, one for the detection range um, comes with everything ready, and as you can see it's working, I can go in, go out, go in, go out, and it's just going on whenever I'm in that area, so that's working really well. And it's a lot easier than relative coordinates, let's try the next one, we'll put the wool down, and because we're a bit far away, we can't be um, blinded, but now we're, that we're close, we are blinded. Uh, we chose to get rid of the block, so that's working. As you can see, not blinded, getting close. We are blinded, so you can have sort of throwable bombs or grenades with this, I guess. Sort of. AoE damage. Anyway, uh, as you can see, these coordinates have changed in each of these command blocks. I'm going to run these both now just to show you. Yep, they're spawning things above the blocks. And uh, there we go. So that's pretty much it for today. So if you like the video, give it a like. If you loved it, why not subscribe? All these filters will be available to download. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.